This just in, Roger Goodell has just signed an executive order to re-simulate the NFL playoffs. This means we will have to redo the entire 2019 to 2020 season and re-simulate the NFL playoffs. This still leaves a lot of questions up in the air. Will the Browns even make it to the playoffs? Will Brady get his seventh ring? Will the Cowboys even win a playoff game? Or will the defending champs repeat as Super Bowl champs? Let's find out these answers. Let's simulate. Let's go. After simulating the NFL season, these are your AFC playoff teams. We have the number one seed, Kansas City Chiefs, followed by the number two seed, New England Patriots. And would you look at this? The number three seed is your Cleveland Browns. After centuries and centuries of being mocked as a poverty franchise, they finally make it to the postseason. Congratulations to the Browns. The number four seed is the Baltimore Ravens, followed by the Bills and Texans. Texans win their division, but have a lower win percentage than the Bills. So the Bills are the five and the Texans are the six. And if we look at the NFC side, oh, oh my, my God, the Bears went 15 and one. Mitchell Trubisky led the Bears to a 15 and one season. They were one off from a 16-0 season? This has to be a different roster. The Bears did not do this. Are you kidding me? The number one seed, Bears. Wow. The number two seed is the New Orleans Saints, followed by the third seed, Rams, then Cowboys. And then we have the Philadelphia Eagles, followed by the Atlanta Falcons. With all the seeding wrapped up, let's jump into Wild Card Weekend. The first match we have in Wild Card Weekend is the Cleveland Browns at home up against the Buffalo Bills. Bills are trailing 10 out of the two minute warning as Josh Allen tries to hit his receiver and gets a 15 yard gain. Josh Allen having a pretty average day. They're going to go no huddle, still trying to get 10 points. They're going to fake the handoff. Allen surveying the field, looking deep. Oh, it should have been picked, but he was outside of the end zone. Second and 10 from their opposing 22. Josh Allen's going to take the snap, looking, surveying. Nothing is open, running out of the time. The pocket's collapsing. He's going to be sacked at the 30 by no other than Miles Garrett. Seven tackles tonight, and that's going to be third and 18. Still going with no huddle. 54 seconds on the clock. They're going for the desperation throw. Allen with his receiver, John Brown. That's going to be a touchdown. This game just got a whole lot more interesting. 20 to 23. The Cleveland Browns have the ball. They're just going to be looking to run out the clock. Baker Mayfield with the handoff, and that's going to be an immediate timeout from Buffalo. After the timeouts, the Browns are sitting at a second and five. They're going to run the ball again with Chubb. He's got the first down and a little more, and they're going to be met with an immediate Buffalo timeout. After the Bills use their second and third timeouts, the Browns are going to kneel this one and get away with a victory, winning 23 to 20, and they will be moving on to the divisional matchup. We're going to be staying on the AFC side of things as we have a close one in Houston, 27 apiece. Baltimore and the Texans as Lamar Miller gets free, breaks free, 33-yard touchdown. He breaks our tie. Unreal, Lamar Miller. After Lamar Miller's 33-yard touchdown, we're sitting with Lamar Jackson as he's working with a minute 15 left in the fourth. He's going to check it down to Willie Snee for an eight-yard gain. Still with no huddle. Let's see what he's got. 50 seconds left, second and two. He's going to look short. Oh, he's going to try to hit Willie Snee, but hits his back. Third and two, 49 seconds, touchdown to Ty. What is Lamar Jackson going to pull up? He's going to go to the check down, and it almost is picked. That was a pick six if he caught that. Fourth and two, they are not signing the punt team. This is game if they don't get it. Play action, Lamar Miller. Nobody was home. Nobody caught that. And that's a turnover on downs. They give the ball right back to Deshaun Watson. He's going to do a play action with 38 seconds. It's going to be Ankins on the out route. Time out Baltimore. And with that, that should wrap it up. They're going to do a couple kneel downs and get out of here with a W. 
They're going to win this game and move on. 34 to 27 is your final score, and the Houston Texans will be moving on to the divisional round. Now that we're done with the AFC side of things, we're jumping into the NFC wildcard matchups. We've got the Atlanta Falcons, LA Rams, Matt Ryan to Austin Hooper for a 20-yard gain. Breaks the second and 10. They've got a first down, still with no huddle. Matt Ryan is going to take the snap. He's going to dump it off to Freeman, who's going to get immediately tackled for a two-yard loss. Second and 12, Matt Ryan with 102 left in the game. He's going to throw to his receiver. He's going to get about a five-yard game. Time out Atlanta. They have two more. Third and five, 58 seconds left on the opposing 44. Matt Ryan again to Austin Hooper. Breaks a tackle. Down to the 32, 50 seconds remaining. Still with no huddle. A new first down. Clock is running out. Matt Ryan trying to get a touchdown, and it's picked. Oh my god, Matt Ryan! No! Corey Littleton with the interception, are you kidding? And the Rams are just gonna kneel it down! Unreal! The Atlanta Falcons were driving down, and that's how the game's gonna end? Are you joking? Nothing fancy on the punt return, and the Los Angeles Rams are gonna win off a pick! 34 to 27 and they will be moving on to the divisional with our last wild card matchup we have the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Philadelphia Eagles Philly at the moment is down eight as Wentz hands it off going nowhere they have about a minute left they're gonna go into no huddle with the second and ten when surveying the field, looking for anyone. He's going deep. It's going to be Ertz. He's going to be down at the one. No, they're saying a touchdown. Zach Ertz with a 35-yard touchdown. All they need now is the two-point conversion. They are trailing by two. This is for the tie. They don't get this game. Snap goes to Wentz. He's looking Ertz. It's going to be knocked away. This is how Philly's going to go out. 39 seconds. They're going onside. It's predictable. And Dallas is going to pick it up. Wow, they're going to kneel it out. Philly's going to take their timeouts, and that's it. With five seconds remaining, Philly is no longer in contention in this game. Dallas is going to move on to the divisional round, and the Cowboys win it 30-28. to If you made it this far, you might be wondering, where are the other playoff games? Why is there just a black screen with... I don't know, a picture of my dog. Now there's a picture of McDonald's. And now here's a picture of Mr. Beast. You might be wondering where the other playoff games are. Don't worry, I still have the rest of the simulation. I'm actually thinking of breaking this up into four different videos. This first one is obviously going to be Wildcard Weekend. And if this video does particularly well, I'm going to upload the divisional. I think this will be a good way to break up the videos. That way, you don't have to watch a 30-something minute video of me just commentating, because that can get a little boring. So, if you want part two, which would be the divisional round, smash the like button. I'm going to set a goal for 15. Once we hit 15 likes, I'll release part two, all right? That way, I know you enjoy it, and I'm getting some feedback. Also, if you aren't subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Go sub. Like, don't do it right now. Like, don't wait till the end of the video. Do it right now. Here we go!